The 17th Special Tactics Squadron and Air Force Special Operations Unit stationed here on Fort Benning got together with a platoon over at 3rd Brigade to see what kind of experience and ingenuity they could pass along to each other. We wanted to get our guys some exposure. We wanted to get them out there, um, allow them to see, you know, that there's other avenues they can go. Some of these guys, when they get out to the range, they lose their sight uh, when they're firing, cause them to, you know, not qualify. This gives them a better opportunity, too, to just see how to use their optics versus, hey, turn this button this way, do this. You know, now they can actually, they know how to use it, know where to place their hands, better control the weapon when they're firing. Not only is this young platoon working with experienced Air Force Special Operators on the techniques of marksmanship, they're also getting the chance to shoot weapons they may have only seen on a video game. We're working with a Mark 17, Scar Heavy, and Glocks. We're also working with modified M4s. These guys normally work with M4s, but uh, now they get the opportunity to use like a, a shorter barreled M4, an M4 that has a suppressor on the front of it. This is a unique opportunity for everyone, including myself, because I've, for one, never shot a Scar. They'll never get this opportunity again unless they go some sort of special tactics group. So that's, it's fantastic for them. An opportunity like this is remarkable for the students to ask questions and learn from the special operators with around 12 to 15 deployments each. But this is also an opportunity for these experienced airmen, with the help of young soldiers, to think outside the box. You often learn more from the student than they learn from you. You'd be amazed at the, the simplicity of the questions and the approaches that show almost an innocence in their perspective that forces you to look at things as if you've never done them before. Uh, one thing we're always looking for are new ideas, and you'd be surprised at the great ideas someone who's never done this before can come up with. We learn, and it reminds us how to hone our skills and where the weak areas are. We're surrounded by different special groups. We have all these opportunities to get with these guys, and now we get the opportunity to like, train with these guys. I, I hope other units can do the same. The opportunity these two units receive to train together will hopefully follow each and every soldier and special operator throughout their careers. So your eyes move first, then your weapon. Eyes move, your weapon. But the opportunity for this training to happen is what the Maneuver Center of Excellence really stands for. A chance for all units on post to work with and learn from each other. Nicole Randall, Fort Benning TV.